So let me show you the latest thing I've been working on. I got a couple of cars and on the keys for one I have this nice uh, you know, the, the thing to deal with the locks and the alarm is integrated with the key. And then I have this other one where it's not integrated with the key and in fact it's broken off and it doesn't even attach to the key so I gotta carry this stupid thing around and a key and I would really like these two to be like this one. It's much better this way. So, how to do this? Well, you know, I could just like super glue it on there, but uh, I also may have wrangled access to a kind of 3D printer, uh, one of these rapid prototyping kind of machines. So I've been messing around, and I found this little program called OpenSCAD. And I don't know if you've ever tried to use Blender or Art of Illusion. Um, I've messed around with them a little bit, but it's very hard, I found, to create, uh, to sort of get things lined up with proper dimensions and, and sort of very hard to use. This OpenSCAD is uh, much more uh, programmatic. You can see here, I, I, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's just a little script when you uh, sort of tell it to make cubes and cylinders and cones and add and subtract them and so it becomes much easier to construct something like this and uh, this is the part I'm gonna make and you can see this kind of uh, this kind of cup right here this is what I imagine this piece will go into I'm probably going to modify it a little bit so it will fit in there and then, of course, um, this key will go right, right there, basically, is the idea. Now, I don't know that this is perfectly made or whatever, perfectly designed. I'll probably have to go through several iterations. And I don't know that I can actually print out with this little... Uh, this, this would be like an overhang here. I don't know that this will this probably won't print. So I'm probably going to have to uh, modify the design. Still, this is pretty neat. And then you can export this thing as an STL file, whatever that is. And then you can also import it into Blender. Here's the same thing in Blender. I just imported it. And uh, you can see there, there's the mesh view. So um, I think I just have to export this and then run it through Skane Forge and then then the, then the the real problem will be how do I deal with this overhang? Uh, but anyway, this is a pretty neat little program here, pretty neat little pretty neat stuff. I thought so anyway.